Hello everybody and welcome back to Art Survival Evolved. Now, I did some stuff off screen. It wasn't a lot. It was mostly exploring. As you can see, the map is a lot more opened up now. And while doing this, um, my game crashed and it, it put me back a little. I got some uh, silica. I'm pretty sure they're pronounced silica pearls and I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. I got some of those and then my game just crashed shortly after that and it set me back to where I was actually flying on my pterodactyl and I just fell to my death and lost all my stuff. So I had to get all my stuff back and it wasn't even my fault so that, that was a thing that happened. And I don't actually know where my pterodactyl is. Over here is a pterodactyl that I tamed. This is a different one. This is a Mel. And is level 59. And I tamed this guy because uh, I need to go back to try and find my other pterodactyl, actually. The, the female one. And I, I didn't really know which way to explore. I mean, flying is obviously the easiest way to do it. Okay, well, I think I know where I died now. And I wish I would have known this before because I could have gone to this exact location and gotten my stuff. But all we need is my pterodactyl to fly over here. That's not ideal, but... Can I... Okay, just... Um... Uh... Uh... Uh, I, I, um, what? <laughs> other than the whole pterodactyl ordeal that was going on, I have some other stuff that I was wanting to do in today's episode, and they're not major things, I'm gonna be honest, and there's only two things I can think of right now, so that's probably what I'm gonna do this episode, I'm gonna go ahead and say what they are, so the first thing, you'll notice I'm getting some wood, uh, because I'm gonna make another, like, room type thing but it's gonna serve a different purpose it's not gonna be a base it's actually gonna be a storage because uh like a you know a storage room because i i need one i'm starting to need one because i'm running low on storage and i don't really have much room to put any more storage in my base you know my my main like base over there so i think it's good to probably make a storage building for now, I'm going to make it out of just wood, and then maybe later on change it to something else. But I felt like wood was probably the best thing to get for it, as of right now. So as I slowly walk back to my base, like I said, I'm going to be collecting a lot of resources, mainly wood and thatch. See how much I actually have. I have nearly 500. That's pretty good. That's That's pretty good. The question is, where would be a good spot to actually put a storage room or like a little storage base? I was thinking I could put it maybe like my base is right here. So I'm thinking I maybe put it like over this way a bit, like off to the side over there. Or I put it like over here. You see, I got my dinosaur pin here. Maybe put it off to the side over here. One of those two locations. I don't know which one though. I made my final decision that I want the storage building to be right here. And I, I don't really know why. I just I, I just feel like it'd be good right here, honestly. I don't really have a reason to it. As for gathering resources for this, we have uh, 424 wood here. And we have none here. And we have none in our inventory either. So I guess it's time to do a little bit of resource gathering. And yeah, we need a bunch of wood for this probably. Because I want to make the room, like I want to make the storage room kind of big in a way. Like I, I don't want, I mean it doesn't have to be like huge. It doesn't have to be anything massive. But I want it to be kind of big, probably bigger than my actual base itself. And that may seem weird, but I do want a lot of storage, so I, I think it'll be worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and collect some resources, starting now. If we just look in these two storage boxes, you will see that resource collecting has gone pretty nicely. It's, for the most part, worked out. We have a bunch of fiber, thatch, and wood now. 
And I'm pretty sure if I'm correct, but I, I'm not 100%, those are the three things that we'll be needing for the wood foundation, walls, roof, all that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and get started on this build, and I think I remember wanting it right here. So I'm going to build it right here. Bit of a progress update. Now I have the walls and the door and the floors done, or the foundation anyways of it. All we need is the roof, and I'm probably not going to do a sloped roof. I'm probably just going to make it a big cube for now, which I know that's probably not going to look the best. But I, I could change it in the future. We'll just have to see. And besides, you guys probably know me. I'm not the type of guy that likes to build in survival games. I mean, it's it's a it's a cool thing to do, but it's it's not necessarily a fun thing to do for me anyways. I'm not I'm not the building type and I'm not good at building either, so it really it really doesn't mix well with me. Now that our storage base is complete, I want to do something that I've been wanting to do ever since I actually got Ark. And that's to tame a big dinosaur, like a, a big one, you know, a, a bigger one than like a raptor or a dillo or a pterodactyl. If I had to take a guess, I would say a T-Rex, probably. I, I've been wanting to tame a T-Rex for a long time. Also, I got a crossbow off camera. It was at one of the like uh, beacon drop things. There's none around right now, but it was a yellow one. It was literally like right over here. It was pretty cool, actually. The thing about the the T-Rex or any other big dinosaur for that matter is it's it's not exactly an easy thing to uh, knock out. It's not it's not going to be an easy thing to knock out. You know, it's not going to be like some uh, stones and like a slingshot or something. No, it's it's not that's not how it, that's not how it works with a bigger dinosaur. Instead, this is going to take something like a tranquilizer dart or a trank arrow would also work. But I think I'm going to go with the tranquilizer dart. And it, lo it looks pretty easy to make for the most part. Narcotics, I believe those take some narco berries and spoiled meat, if I'm correct. I've got metal and I have rifle ammo, so that this should work. I mean, I should be able to make these pretty easily. While I was gathering resources for the storage building, I actually collected a lot of berries, including narco berries, and I have a lot of spoiled meat because I've literally done nothing with spoiled meat, so I have a ton of it, and we can make a ton of narcotics, actually, which we already have some right here, but we need to make more because we're probably going to need more, so let's just craft 19, hmm. I don't, I don't know how good that's going to do. I, I don't remember how much narcotics it took to make a trank arrow. I mean, I mean, a tranquilizer dart. Oh no, I'm going to start, I'm going to start getting them mixed up now. The tranquilizer dart, by the looks of it, you have to craft it in the smithy. So I'm going to have to put narcotics in the smithy along with some rifle ammo. Like I said before, I have metal in there, metal ingots. 200 exactly, actually. So that's pretty good. It looks like we can craft nine of these, I think, because it takes three narcotic, or three narcotics to do. Yeah, nine. Okay, so nine tranquilizer darts. That's that's not bad. I don't know if that will be enough or not, though. I really hope it will be, because if not, that's going to be pretty bad. So if I've calculated it correctly, I looked at some numbers, and... Apparently, it will take seven tranquilizer darts to take down a level one T-Rex. I think I'm gonna need more tranquilizer darts. After some more resource grinding, I now have 17 tranquilizer darts. Which I think is better because the, w the way it works with the T-Rex is after doing a little bit of research on their numbers of torpidity... At level 1, they start off at 1550 or 1550, and from there, they go up, I believe it's 93 each level, so it takes 7 to bring down a level 1, but after that, they only gain 93 each level, so 7, 7 or 8, it's, it's one of those two, it may be 8 actually to bring down a level 1, which is, which is a pretty insane amount for just a level 1. But when you really look at it, 
That's actually that also actually he also applies for like a level two or a level three as well, because they that their torpedo is not much different each level. Like it, it only goes up by a little. But the thing is, is we're gonna have to worry about that later because right now we have to worry about actually finding a T Rex, which I've only seen three in total. I came across a Carno. But I don't think I really want a car, no, honestly, so I'm just gonna attack it. Okay. <laughs> that has a lot of... Wait, what? Whoa, what the? What is this thing? Okay, uh, thank you, thank you, Pterodactyl. I have no clue what that thing was. Okay, there is a lot of things here. Whoa! Oh, it... What in the world? Where am I? What in the world? Oh my gosh. What in the world? This... Oh my gosh. What is going on? I'm so confused. I can't see anything. I'm being attacked. Okay, hang on. Okay, just... Ugh. Okay, okay, there we go, there we go. Man, some creatures are really annoying in this game. I didn't find a T-Rex, but right over here is a Spinosaurus. Which, in my opinion, they're, they're just as terrifying, pretty much, and they're, they're also cool looking. So, I may just settle for a Spinosaurus, honestly. I mean, they can also swim, too. A Spinosaurus... That, that huge thing down there. It's a swimming dinosaur, and they're, they're pretty powerful too. So, I think I'm going to go after it. The only thing is it's it's in a water-like area. We need, we need to get it out of the water. We need to get this guy out of the water. Whatever I do, I cannot get off my pterodactyl or else I am likely dead. Oh no. Oh no, that's okay, he's not he didn't I didn't catch his attention. No, my pterodactyl needs to no. Okay, hang on. Uh this might be a problem. Maybe, maybe not. The problem with the Spinosaurus is they don't they don't get out of the water. They don't get out of the water when you really need them to get out of the water. After doing some research, oh my gosh, after doing some research, ah, oh, this is gonna be hard. See, a Spinosaurus is a fast creature, both swimming and running. I did some research, their base level is 850, I believe, for torpidity. Now, we need to see what level it is, and that's gonna be hard to do, he's a little distracted right now. Okay, does the Triceratops really have to push it inside the water? Did that say 37? Oh gosh. I'm pretty sure that said level 37. Yikes, that's quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie, that's that's quite a bit, so... I mean, I'm gonna need to do some calculations real quick. After doing some calculations, the torpidity of this Spinosaurus is 2,737. So I should be able to get it. I should be able to knock it out is basically what I'm saying. Okay, what is it doing? <laughs> Just sitting in the water. Okay. Okay, that thing's coming. No, my pterodactyl needs to get away from me. No, pterodactyl, no. Okay. My pterodactyl is going to kill this thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. I need to get my pterodactyl away. And I need to make sure it stays away from the Spinosaurus. I'm not too sure about my pterodactyl. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, that scared me. Okay, well... Seriously? This happens every time. Why is my pterodactyl so strong? I don't understand. Is there a way to make these guys non-aggressive, whistle-aggressive, whistle-passive? Do you have to whistle for these guys to be passive? Look what you did! Now now I have to find another Spinosaurus or, or a T-Rex, either, either one. I just remembered something. This is a- well, first of all, this is a new part of the map that I need to explore. And I'm pretty sure... Big carnivores are in this area, if I'm correct. I may be wrong, honestly. I, I don't know, but that's that's what I'm thinking. Maybe this this is like um a, some type of lava island thing with ash everywhere. As you can see, it's kind of like a volcano in a way, and it's it's really cool. And as you can see, there is a carno right here, actually. So I guess I could kill it. I don't know why. <laughs> I'll just do that. Okay, what is going on with my pterodactyl? So far, I have found nothing but two Carnos and three Raptors? Three, is that three Raptors? That could be three Raptors. Yeah, there's two Raptors there, so three Raptors, and there's a T-Rex! As soon as, as soon, as soon, oh gosh, my game, okay. Like, as soon as I start... What are these things? Ow! Well, I guess they're hitting my pterodactyl, technically. Okay, um... Oh, there were saber-tooth. Saber-tooth tigers, I guess? I don't know why saber-tooth tiger would be here, but okay. Oh, gosh. I just killed whatever that thing is. Oh, gosh! T-Rex. I don't think an angry T-Rex roaring right towards you is a thing you want to see. Okay, how many enemies want to take down this T-Rex so badly? Like, oh my gosh. Stop attacking. Um, I'm trying to help the T-Rex and it keeps attacking me. Oh gosh. Well, I, I guess the T-Rex didn't need help. Okay, let me... I'm Okay, hang on. Just uh, let me and just give me a second. I don't know how there's water over here. This is like a volcano type area with lava everywhere. Level 40. I just did a bit of calculating and I will not be able to take down this T-Rex with my trank arrows or trank trank darts. Why do I keep calling them trank arrows? Tranquilizer darts. Tranquilizer darts. That's what that's what they are. There's two. There's two T-Rexes. Oh no, that's that's a bad thing. That's that's not good. Okay, it looks like we need to see what levels these guys are. Two T-Rexes. Let's just not get killed by them. Okay. Whoa. All right. Um. Level seven. That one should be easy to take down. And now it's chasing me. Okay. What about that one? Level 40. Okay, we need to get this one away. Wait, where's my pterodactyl? I need to get my pterodactyl. Okay. If I don't get my pterodactyl, then it's going to be a bad thing because... My pterodactyl will try to kill this T-Rex. And for some reason, my pterodactyl is really strong. And it might succeed in doing that, so... Let's go over here a little. Okay, kill the scorpion. Um, is that another T-Rex? Why are there so many T-Rexes here? No, no pterodactyl, no. No pterodactyl, no. No, 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 no. Okay, just. <sighs> Seriously, there are three T-Rexes over here. Okay, level 40. That's not a good thing. Okay, ooh, level 7. What about him? Over here. 26. Okay. 
I know what we need to do. We need to take down all of them except for the level 7. Is that the level 7? It is. Wait, we may not actually need to take down any of them. If we can get this guy... If we can get this T-Rex right here to get away from this, like, group, we will be okay. Let's go and take this T-Rex down with some torpidity. Right on the nose. Get on the pterodactyl. Okay. Huh, man, I, I really hope I have enough trank darts for this. Hey, okay, what? No, get on my pterodactyl! Okay. Oh, wait, my pterodactyl's passive. So he's not attacking? Oh, that's actually a good thing. Okay. Uh oh. Ugh. Alright, let's keep moving this way. Okay. Okay, let's go. Ah. Oh, is he running away? <gasps> he is. This is good, this is good. Keep shooting him. <gasps> that was a weird gasp. But, I just knocked him out. Okay, let's get on my pterodactyl. Okay. Now, I really hope this raw meat will work to tame this guy. I'm just gonna borrow some from my pterodactyl. The raw meat should work, right? I think I just actually tamed a T-Rex. <laughs> yep, I just tamed a T-Rex. I'm gonna take these out. I just taped a T Rex. <laughs> wow, this guy is big. I would I would say this is um this is good. I would say this is uh pretty good for a big dinosaur. Oh my gosh. Just about ate me right there. Roar. <laughs> oh gosh. And what is actually cool is you can actually put a saddle on these guys. But you have to have one, unfortunately I do not. But this guy's insane. I can't believe I just tamed a T-Rex. I've, I mean, ever since I've gotten this game, I've won in one of these guys, and now I have them. I mean, he's not any new, like, new, unique color or anything like that, but... I mean, he's still cool, though. He, he's still definitely cool. He's also a low level, kind of. But, I mean, let's be honest, it's probably pretty hard to tame a high level T-Rex. There's one problem. I have to get this guy all the way back to my base area. Huh, that's 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 gonna be fun to do. Anyways, that's probably gonna do it for today's episode. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> it's just insane that I actually have a T-Rex. And now I can also deal with large animal 
feces as well, so that's another thing. If you guys are new here, or if you enjoy uh, the Ark Survival Evolved series, if you have been, then feel free to subscribe. But obviously that's your choice, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time.